Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity. At this time we are talking about setting up development environment on uh, uh, on Mac or Windows uh, so that we can actually learn big data in future. So as part of this video, I will try to cover another important uh, tool which you need to set up to practice uh, streaming technologies such as Flume, Spark Streaming, Kafka, etc. Okay, so I got a data, I got a small program which actually generates the logs. This, uh, the, the, the application which generated those logs is actually from Cloudera Quick Start VM and I actually checked in into my uh, GitHub account. So you can clone my GitHub account by, uh, once you log into the sandbox, uh, you can run git clone and, uh, and uh, the repository name is uh, co uh, code under account D Gadraju. So you just have to say git clone www dot uh, github dot com slash D Gadiraju slash code and hit enter. I think I have to give HTTP also here. Or I guess HTTPS. So I have to use HTTPS here. Okay, so the code repository is uh, um, is little bit bigger. It take thirty megabytes or something. I think uh, the path is not uh, the yeah. So this is the one which I have to use. I have to use this one code dot git. Okay, so git clone and uh, uh, HTTPS colon slash slash github dot com slash dgadaraju slash code dot git it will take a while and it will create a directory called code uh, and then we have to copy a subdirectory uh, somewhere in uh, in that code repository which contains the log, uh, uh, application which generated the logs and the location of the directory is code is the directory which is created because of the git command and then hadoop edw scripts and ls and ldr so this is the application which you need to copy. Okay, mv-f gen underscore logs. And I want to copy to opt. Okay. And now it is copied. Go to cd rm-rf code. Remove the repository so that you save space for later work. And now you can see ls-ltr opt gen underscore logs and if you go to that location you have the start underscore logs stop underscore logs and tail underscore logs uh, uh, sh files which actually invoke scripts to generate the logs okay you can open one of the script opt gen logs start logs dot sh and you can see that it is invoking uh, uh, a script called gen http logs dot py under lib it's a python based script which will actually generate the logs in the logs directory so lib have the gen http logs dot py script and uh, there will be a file called access log that will be generated in the logs directory which will have the streaming data when this is run so to run it from anywhere, we have to add the start logs, stop logs, and tail logs to user bin. Okay, so ls ltr user bin, and there is uh, no start logs, stop logs, and uh, uh, tail logs. So I am just creating a soft link for opt gen logs start logs dot sh under the user bin start logs dot sh. Similarly, I will be creating for stop logs. And then tail logs. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, all the uh, uh, soft links for all the three scripts under slash user bin. So we don't need to give the fully qualified path to execute the scripts. We can just say start underscore log dot sh 
and it will start generating the logs. You can review uh, that logs are being generated by running this tail log.sh command and you can see that logs are being generated. Okay. So now we have set up gen underscore logs also uh, as part of uh, our sandbox and this uh, will be used in future when we actually um, explore the streaming technologies such as Kafka, Flume, Spark streaming, etc. So we will use one uh, one virtual machine, whether it is Cloudera virtual machine or Hotbox uh, virtual machine, uh, to learn in, uh, almost all the big data technologies in future. So that's why I'm showing how to set up uh, tools like Gen underscore logs and also the Return underscore DB, etc. As part of um, last video and this video. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. And um, uh, I will try to improvise on my content going forward depending upon your feedback. Thank you. Bye.